The people of my four, Nkwemba Mender Amazonia, are crying out for help as recurrent floods ravage their community, threatening lives and livelihood. The root causes, crumbling infrastructure, blocked waterways, and a glaring lack of government investment. Year after year, the same devastating scenario unfolds, homes are submerged, businesses are destroyed, lives are lost, worst of all, futures shattered. The colonial government's inaction is deafening. No emergency response, no aid, no long-term solutions. The people of Bamenda are left to face the floods alone. Their pleas for help drowned out by indifference. Let's get this sad video. Well, as you can see, you might be thinking it's a river, a stream, or an ocean, right? But no, it's just flawed. And that is why the people are moving, because they know that there is supposed to be a road. Now, this is what, and this is supposed to be a bridge. So you can imagine. Who oh, help him now? What do carry him on? Who removed him? She has more people. Don't run. Say something. Yeah. When your father lives safe, you have to run out. <laughs> I swear to God. disaster is a symptom of systemic neglect and injustice which has grown into decades of marginalization chronic underfunding and politicized priorities the Amazonian people are not asking for too much but demand immediate flood mitigation measures infrastructure development accountability for government inaction most importantly recognition of your rights to self-determination but men of floods are a wake-up call this is not because uh, this is because neglect has consequences. Injustice will not be silenced. The people will not be ignored. And this is a cry for help. 